think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out. You still got that thing on repeat? Guess you really miss her. Bishamer is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only fit calls? It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hammond reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daniels. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Hey. Well, maybe just seven. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's gotta be waiting out for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. Comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <coughs> Sir, we're in ailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications blackout on the one of these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. What the hell is that? Uh, sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tech is engaged. Automated docking. Let's go. Uh, we're losing control. We're off course! Daniel! Guidance system override isn't responding. Shit, shit, we're coming in too hot. We're gonna smash us into the hole. Jack, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Got it. Drop the flash. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. Yeah, they always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Calm her down. We lost a poor booster. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity core's a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kellyan. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, stay with me. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at Dead Space Remake. I have the original, but I did not jump to buy the remake as I heard it had some performance issues, and I'm tired of AAA games being released broken. Team however is doing 90 minute trials now, so I had to check it out. First off, it works out of the box with no tinkering needed. 
I must say the initial shader compilation took ages, and when the game finally launched, there were more shaders to build. This was really annoying. It would randomly again build shaders upon running the game after quitting. I was getting Vietnam style flashbacks of the horror that is The Last of Us. I tested Linux versus Windows, and according to the benchmarks on FPS alone, Linux outperforms Windows, but that alone does not tell the full story. During the intro cutscene, Linux had better FPS, but the frame times were all over the place and much more stuttering. The stuttering does disappear after some time, and once it is better, it runs much better on both Linux and Windows. There is still some random stutters when entering new areas. That said, it looks amazing, and the content and atmosphere and sound is top notch, and this is how a remake should be done. As for myself, I would only consider getting this if you have never played the original or if it was on sale after getting lots of patching. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed it, take care and cheers.